I think when people look out and they see the, the amount of change that's actually necessary to significantly alter the course of dominant civilization, it's pretty daunting, right, that the amount of um, the shift itself, when you look at the complexity of the civilization as it is today, I mean, it's, it's kind of mind-blowing. And it seems fairly impossible. And Charles Eisenstein, the author of uh, Sacred Economics, has a beautiful line where he says, from, from looking through the old paradigm, which is essentially the application of force, that change is the ability to exert a higher amount of force than the change than somebody else can. It's impossible. There's no way. There's no way you can create a new paradigm because the existing dominant structures have way more force at their disposal. But, luckily, the emergent form of understanding is that we're interdependent. And from the lens of interdependence, you realize that change is, there's less of a linear causation between the, the elements of change. And so from that perspective, you realize it's, it's impossible to actually know how to create the shift needed, but that every single interaction you have has the potential to create that change because every single potential reflects the potential of the whole. This is when you get into this idea of the fractal. Right? At any point within the fractal itself, it reflects the entire structure of the fractal. And so from that position, change becomes a-causal. It becomes synchronistic. And as you drop into more of a willingness to see synchronicity, which essentially, it doesn't necessarily mean like there's some sort of magical force going on that's you know concocting these events of your life. It just means that the order of understanding it is at a higher complexity than we currently understand. So the, the organizational principle that is creating uh, these events, or at least linking them together, we can't see it from our level of understanding. But that doesn't mean it's not there. And I think if we tap into uh, at least surrendering to allowing them to happen, in a sense of allowing them to potentially create a story for which can guide us as we create change, I think we begin to feel much more empowered, much more at ease, and much more in the flow. And so for me, that's, that's where I try to reside as often as possible.